Hello guys, welcome back to another video we're doing Brawl again because I've been enjoying Brawl and we're going to be doing Gix uh, Yagmoth Praetor This is basically, I took the deck from the event and I kind of just improved it a bit because I actually really enjoyed it, it was kind of fun I didn't know Shadowborn Apostle was on Arena So yeah, we're running Gix as our commander, 40 Shadowborn Apostles which basically with Gix you're drawing a bunch of cards and then eventually you're sacking to get demons We're running 37 lands, 35 plus 2 spell lands uh, and then off, as far as our demon selection is concerned, we have just a, a little value one in Taborex because uh, it gets counters whenever another non-token creature control dies and if it's a cleric you get to draw a card losing a life and Shadowborn happens to be a cleric so that's fantastic um, we probably won't fetch it often but it's just a card if we draw is really good and there happens to be a demon as well as far as the demons are concerned, we have Demon of Dark Schemes to clear the board a little bit. We have Dreadfest Demon to kind of go or keep making more of them. Uh, Rezacaf, so we can kind of just sack uh, remaining Apostles to find whatever card we need. Uh, Villas to drop a bunch of cards and kill some creatures. And then Gristlebrand, because Gristlebrand is great. Uh, Defiler is really, really good because it basically lets you play the Apostles for two life, because since they only cost one black and lets your other apostles attack since if they have a block it usually is going to be good enough to block the apostles the defiler gives them menace uh, we have a, like a plethora of removal some with like convoke that works really well both pylon and mom and then there's some other removals for that concern we have a few cards that care about card names so stroke of luck could draw us up to four cards so it's two men and look at the top four cards of a library then you choose one of them and all cards with the same name go to your hand with 40 apostles is it a non-land actually you can even choose like basic swamp. So we have like 20 copies of swamp and 40 copies of apostle. So this probably can draw us uh, anywhere from one to four cards. So that's really good. Mirror box also works quite well. Uh, the first part of the card doesn't matter, but it's the each non-token creature control gets plus one, plus one for each other creature control with the same name as that creature. So that we can just kill them with apostles. And then we have a Gary, because I like Gary. Anyways, that's the run of the deck. The deck is like very, very simple. It's very cheap to craft as well, because I know like 40 of the cards is literally just uh, Shadowborn Apostle. You gotta craft four commons and then you have 40 cards of your deck already. Uh, obviously the demons are mostly mythic and usually those demons were not very playable in the particularly standard format, at least in, on Arena. I don't know if Grizzle Brand was playable in the standard back in the day. I was not playing back then. Um, so yeah, you might not have them, but you know, it's maybe you randomly have one copy and that'll be great so yeah we're playing as itali Ooh, are we are we liking the strong queue because i think itali is supposed to be really good okay cool four shadowborn we need a third land because we're gonna go turn one turn two we have a pile on but if, ideally we're gonna go um gix on turn three and draw three cards or at least some amount of cards depends if they have like a lot of acceleration creatures Love that, love that little pet by the way, it's so freaking cute. Okay, cool, they do not have a one drop, that's really good. So, uh, depending what man acceleration they have next turn, we're gonna draw a lot of cards. And, I mean, we're not gonna power on, but it's really nice to have the power on as an option. They might have like a three damage removal spell though. Okay, that's fine, we'll draw two cards, we're not gonna lose any creatures in this exchange. Uh, four more creatures, sure. It's been a while since I've seen Lith King Druid, not gonna lie. And we are right now, we have another Shadowborn in our hand, so we're very close to getting a demon. And drawing two cards here is really, really good. Sure, we lose two life, but I think it's a price. I'm Ooh, Defiler and a base. Nice. We can go Swamp into Defiler, into Apostle, into Pylon on the same turn. That's really... Is it only permanence that I get the... Yeah, only permanence. That's fine. Uh, five, six, seven. Cool. We're going to kill the Lift King Druid this turn. We're going to go Defiler into Apostle. Tap four. Kill the Druid. No, we're not playing that one. Cool. We go Defiler. We go Apostle. We put it there, for example. Doesn't really matter. And then, can I choose how to pay, please? Kill that one, submit one, tap, 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 resolve. Uh, 
I'll take two more apostles. Cool, they go down to 12, we go down to 19. We do a lot of damage to ourselves, like that is worth noting. We have delayed. We could play the apostles here, but like if they board wipe, that would really suck. So I don't think I want to. Like I think the only way we lose, like we're getting in a really bad spot now is if they board wipe right now. That would really, really suck. If they have a uh, play with fire, is it play with fire? The one with the devils. Okay, I don't like that they shocked. Might just be a big creature. That's fine. Hmm, that's a bit more annoying. Uh, play an apostle. Three treasures. I'm trying to think what demon I can get. Let's let's look at that real quick. Uh, we can get Razakaf. Razakaf won't be that great. We could just get Gristlebrand as well, and I think Gristlebrand would just be very good pressure to close out the game. He might just be the answer, huh? Uh, yeah, I kind of do like Gristlebrand. So let's play a land. Let's go to combat. If he blocks, do I want him to block with this guy and kill this guy? Oh, I can kill the land of war. Yeah, let's attack like this. Because if they block, I would just kill the land of war, let them keep the Atsu. Atsu sushi. Sorry, I had to check the name, I generally do not know the name. Uh, that's fine, it doesn't matter. Oh, I was supposed to sack. Oh, god damn it, that's on me. I need to draw another one here now, that's on me. Yeah, I deserve to get punished. Yeah, I did get punished. Uh, which case, I am gonna Inferno Grasp that guy. And then I can't play this. God, I'm playing so bad. Yeah, I was supposed to sack. That was a complete brain fart from me, man. I was supposed to sack that and get a Gristle Brand. They would have been at... Okay, that didn't matter. Good thing it didn't matter. Good thing it didn't matter, but I definitely was supposed to... Sack, get Gristle Brand... But maybe then they would be able to cast the Tali and maybe I lose because of that. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it was not wrong. Actually no, because I couldn't have known because I, I I got the the Inferno Grasp from drawing after combat and then I couldn't have known I was gonna draw that. So yeah, definitely should have gotten Gristle Brand, drawn seven cards, and then from those seven I was likely to get a removal for the one three. So I definitely misplay that. We were unfortunately not punished, but we'll take it. A win is a win, you know, a win is a win. Uh, we are playing as Narset. Ooh, I do not like playing as Narset. This is not that good of a hand, if I can be honest with you. I'm actually going to mow this. Because... Oh, it's this Narset. Never mind, I thought it was the the other Narset. This, this hand is actually not that good, because the Phyrexian Tower is a bit annoying. Um, think I think it's worth playing the tower second one and playing two more the next turn uh, hopefully play the second another one play the gigs and um, if we draw a, a, a land an untapped one would be obviously better they might have a removal here okay that's fine oh are they playing like a cycling back oh I think we kind of have to do this, and I gotta hope they do not have the counter spell. They do not, that's fantastic. We're gonna get to draw two cards, hopefully we draw a land. Do they have like a stifle? Oh god, they have stifle? Please do not stifle me, and please do not have like an anger of the gods. I will concede to an anger of the gods. 
I will put that out there right now. I will concede to an Anger of the Gods. This deck is not built to beat an Anger of the Gods. So we will not even try. <laughs> uh, we're gonna draw another four cards now, unless they have a one mana removal. And they do, that's unfortunate. Uh, I will. Uh, is this enough mana to cast? It is. Yeah, we're gonna do it. I mean, this is getting close to uncastable now. But we're gonna draw a couple more cards, so that's definitely worth our while. Uh, land is not exactly what I wanted to find. A couple more apostles. Like, they're likely to have 4 mana and 5 mana rafts. So, uh, getting this Phyrexian Arena down will be nice. They're playing a lot of cycling cards. They have to be playing some kind of cycling sub theme, huh? Uh, okay, we win. I, I, this deck is very straightforward what he wants to do and it does that thing really well it just puts a lot of pressure like it's not even the amount of damage pressure it's doing it's just I'm hurting you and I'm gonna have more cards than in hand than you and like if you stumble on turn two like you don't play a two drop you've already fallen so far behind because I've dealt damage I have board pressure presence rather and I'm drawing cards Imonti, I don't actually know who this is. Imonti, sorry. Imoti? Imoti? Spells, okay, that's fine. But yeah, um, today is actually Friday, and I've been posting all my videos on Sunday because I've been leaving everything for the last day. Today I didn't, so uh, good on me, good on me. I managed to manage my time quite well. And it's not because next week is a holiday here and I do not have class, and that makes it much easier to manage everything. But, oh, they're mulliganing to Oblivion, that's fantastic. Another thing worth noting, this deck mulligans very well. When you have 40 of one card... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of weird, but alright. Uh, I would love to draw another Apostle, though. Because, like, going Apostle, Apostle... If they have a mana ramp here... Oh, they have Utopia bro. that's gross. That's a very, If they have a creature here, this is a disgusting mulligan. Yeah, this is a disgusting mulligan. Yeah, like, what am I supposed to do? This is just gross, man. Um, on the play with the Sprawl plus Cobra combo, that's gross. It's a 3-1, though, so, I mean, that's my out. Like, yeah, they're playing this guy already, so... Good on him. Good on them, sorry. I mean, I assume you're playing your commander here. Yeah, you are. And he has Cascade? Jeez, please. Cultivate. Okay, I mean, we'll keep playing for a bit, but I think this game is over. They won the play and they had double ramp. There's nothing you can do. Like, even if I was playing a different deck, we'd probably lose anyway. Um, okay, my turn. Like, they're gonna play something huge next. I'm trying. I have two of my, my demons in hand. That's kind of gross. Nice. We'd put them down to 22. Let's go. We need to find some removals, honestly. Nice. Oh, we found, like, the most expensive removal we could have found. <laughs> Okay, let's see how big of a threat they play and if I'm gonna concede to it. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, they keep going? Oh, that's disgusting. If you hit a bunch of big stuff, they just keep going, that's pretty gross. Okay, like, this is disgusting and I could be dead, but like, this is just a lot of mana. This is not killing me just yet, so we are okay. Uh, move to combat. They might block my gigs with the. Ah, they probably should not block at all. Cool, let's see what we get here. Please, no more demons. That's okay. That's not a. We're really not hitting that many Shadowborn Apostles, huh? Let's see if we can find some. We found three. We're gonna have to discard some cards, but it is what it is. Let's play two more here. Uh, Hyper Marlin, we probably keep. One swamp can go. I think the demon is not looking good here. Village rights, whatever. I think this is fine. I don't know if I should keep the Takanuma, but whatever. Like, we're just hoping, like, if they have a big spell that properly impacts the board, I'll just concede because I don't think I can win, especially with all these demons in my hand. Even if I, like, fetch Razakaf and can find any card in my deck. This is fine. Like, this is a lot of mana, but it's not game-ending in any means. 
That's fine. More mana for you, my, my friend. Okay, another... Like, if they only have, like... They're playing a ramp deck. They, they could have drawn just the wrong half. Like, it's possible. I don't think it is a situation. I think something huge is going to come in a second. Okay. Jesus. Uh, this is... This is fine. <laughs> I'm letting them have some fun. They honestly, they deserve this. They deserve to enjoy themselves. What did they find? I don't even know what they found. That's a Nulamog. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna concede now. <laughs> I let them have the fun, and uh, I'm gonna take my leave. They just drew ten cards and put a Nulamog into play. I think there was never any uh, any doubt. If I had a removal for the Cascade guy or for the Lotus Crow Cobra, maybe. But uh, like having double ramp on the play, it's uh, it's borderline automatic win, and that's okay. Like we got some free wins. We we're gonna get some you know unwinnable games as well. But anyways, um, what I was trying to say earlier. Uh, tomorrow I might actually go play Commander for like the f like play in person Magic for the first time in almost two years. My shop does uh, Saturdays Commander casual, like it's free and you just sign up. Oh, gigs, nice. We might be playing a mirror, uh, and I have my deck and I might just go. You know, it's been a while. I do, I do, I have been enjoying Magic again. So, no, why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Let's try to do better. This is literally the same hand with better mana. So yeah, are we playing a mirror? I would assume yes. It's a mirror. It's not a mirror? Did you forget? Where are your shadow born? Why am I? <laughs> I have all, I have Exodia. <laughs> Exodia has been assembled, lads. Let's go. Oh, they have even have the sleeves. Oh man, they 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 are a bigger fan than I am. Are they gonna use a removal, my Shadowborn Apostle? It's it's one damage, lad. That's fine. You got me. You got me good. I'll let. Oh man, you. You done done me there. Uh, they're very likely to have a removal, so I might not play the Gixxes. If they play their Gix, I... Mm, do I play my Gix? Ugh, gross. Yeah, I'm definitely not playing my Gix now. I'm playing... Shadowborn Apostles. Go ahead. Next turn, I will have Exodia again. And I'll be able... Actually, fetching a demon against them, actually not that great, huh? I could fetch actually the Dreadfast Demon, that would be good. That's fine. Because if I f fetch the... Oh, that's nice. Uh, no, because I won't have enough. So let's do this first, Stroke of Luck. Let's get two Shadowborn Apostles. Play one. Play two. No attacks. Because I want to play the... Dreadfast Demon with Apostles in play so I can sack it and make more Dreadfast Demons. How does Wither work again? When I have creature control, I have will never. How does Wither? De deals damage in the form of minus one, minus one. That's so gross. Let's see what they do here. This next is generating a lot of mana. Oh wow, why, why are you dark and ritualing? Why are you doing this? That's fine. If, and the gigs? Okay, that's fine. Are they gonna swing out? Okay, alright, relax. I'll take whatever damage this is. Go, cool, I'll take a lot of damage. Um, We can nix those for six. The Demon of Dark Schemes would kill not much. I think, yeah, I might have to get the Dreadfast Demon and just start making 6-6s, six but I might just die to the Massacre Girl's Menace and uh, the 
Fedelash Core just menace as well. Because I won't have enough creatures to block them. I mean, we've only drawn Shadowborn Apostles as well, which is not helping. Like, I really want to kind of interact with my opponent if I can. Do I get Grizzlebrand? No, Grizzlebrand was just gonna... And then draw seven, and then I need to get one, two... I need to get a lot of removal. Uh, the demon, I could make a couple of demons. Which is not bad, I think I think that has to be it. I think I just... No, but then I, fuck, I freaking die. I think Grizzle Brand and try to hit the removal is just the way to go, and that's terrible, but whatever. I think at least drawing seven cards is gonna be fun. Oh, I completely forgot it does that, but that's fine, whatever. I generally didn't <laughs> forgot it, yeah, he needed that. Uh, like, this doesn't kill anything. This I can sack and make more 6-6s, six, six, but it's not great. I don't really want to be playing live, because I don't have much to play with. Let's go Grizzle Brand. Uh, draw 7. I need to find a lot of removal. Oh, freaking Flash Gorge, I have to play live? Ugh. 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 Get out. Mm, we can play a lot of apostles, we can have a lot of blockers. That's fine, I can't do anything about that anyway. Uh, play the swamp, play an apostle. Play an apostle. I mean, they're likely to have a removal of my Grizzle Brand is the only issue, so I'm probably dead anyways, but we'll play it out. They're already here anyway, so we might as well. Cause like, if they don't, then I have a chance. Because I can obviously chomp the Yahini. Um, but it's very likely in the four cards they drew, they found a removal spell from my Grizzle Brand. I would love if they didn't. Maybe people are very... Uh, are they gonna swing out? Oh, just that? Then I'm definitely chomping. Definitely chomping. No doubt about it. I don't think there can be a trample card here, so that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That... I don't know what that is. That's fine. I mean, it's not, but it's fine. Cool. Play that one. I think I have to kill the obliterator. Because I'm kind of on champing duty for a little while. Uh, Gixus? And then... Yeah, like, I'm gonna be forced to chump that guy anyway. Well, I can triple block that guy. Uh, I can, I can I have to chump that one. I think everyone else I can block quite well right now. And I'm gonna gain 7 lives, so we're not in the worst of spots. We mauling... Not that one. We mauling the obliterator. We... No reason to play the mute vault. We'll play the hive. I can't demolition field because they only have basics. So we're gonna go mauling on your obliterator. You can sack it to the Yahini, that's fine. I'm gonna swing for seven, go up to eleven. Feel a little bit more comfortable. I'm gonna actually go up to ten because of my gigs, but that's fine. Okay. I would love to draw the uh what is it called? The land the land spell, the Agadim's Awakening and just Oh, it has to be different when converted mana cost? Oh no, Academy's Awakening is terrible in this deck. Why did I put this card in the deck? I thought it was good. Oh, never mind. I mean, I'll probably still keep it in the deck, but I... I... Each have a different converted mana cost. Excellent, yeah, no. Academy's... Academy's... Academy's? Academy's Awakening is not that good in this deck. <laughs> Misread the card. That's on me, lads. Um, swing for seven. Gain seven. Game, lose one, draw a card, probably playing the hive unless I draw something, another land that matters. That's a very expensive demon. So we'll pass the turn. We are feeling a little bit more comfortable now. Not very, but a little more. They're swinging out. Sure. 
well I'm okay with this on uh, this blocks there these seats there this can trade there this can jump there please control I kind of want to minimize the number of cards they draw I think this is the best way so they only draw one card and trade like they keep three creatures a hini is freaking huge but I mean there's nothing I can do about that anyway I literally just press enter while you make me click on every single one cool they okay, kept three creatures my Nyctos got a little bit worse, especially if they found a removal for my... Okay, it's only for my Gix. That's not the end of the world. Because I can obviously replay it. Scrap Heap Scrounger, sure. I could draw cards with my Grizzle Brand at this point. Which we might want to, to find um, just Shadowborn Apostles. Well, obviously after I attack, not now, when I have 7 life. I'm not going to draw cards now. I am a bit insane, not that insane. Uh, I tend to use my brain from time to time. Albeit not often. Uh, opponent. Okay, my turn. An Apostle is a fantastic draw. So we're going to go to combat. We're going to go up to 14. We obviously want to draw more Apostles just to have more Chumpers as well. How many Apostles do we have left? We have 27 Apostles left in the deck. We have a chance. Every draw is a 36% chance of seeing Apostles. We're probably going to draw like three more Apostles. Trust me, I, I did the maths on this. I'm not very good at maths. Uh, Apostle number one, then we're gonna activate, no, we don't need to activate Nixos first, there was no reason to play the Apostle first, whatever, it's fine. Because I can play two more Apostles bef before I activate the Nixos, because I, I still have a land drop to make. Cool, let's draw seven cards. I might lose even though I drew 14 cards with Grizzle Brand, so more power to me. We got, yeah, we got the four that I said, that's fantastic. Play the land. Play one. These are mana neutral, so there's no reason not to play them first. God, is there any other creature? No, there's only <laughs> there's only Shadowborn Apostles in my graveyard. Nice. So yeah, like this card is not that good. Maybe I'm supposed to play the Mutal Vault for an extra blocker. Nah, I'm gonna use all my mana anyway. So this is gonna be six, seven, eight. Oh, I can play the Razakath. Nice. Well, if opponent gives me priority that is of course <laughs> I love how I'm with like 33 cards deep <laughs> and it's only Shadowborn Apostles <laughs> I'm in love with this deck Loki it's just, it's just silly it's straightforward doesn't take that much uh, brain cells because I don't have many to, to be going around oh we actually cannot play Razakaf. that was um but we can play both Apostles and Gix so like we kind of just want to stop them from um drawing cards because I think Grizzle Brand will win, will win us at the game eventually so I do like the idea of just jumping because we're gonna have a lot of blockers so I could even like use my gigs to trade with the Flash Gorger and then let like and chump chump and chump for example uh, activate for seven another one this will be a lot faster if opponent was. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more proactive. Thank you. And last one. If we had drawn one more puzzle, we could have gotten like... Uh, we wouldn't be able to block and then sacrifice them. I could have used the Awakening and then sacked, but I don't think there's any demon that would help me right now. So I think this is fine. Pass the turn. We got a lot of blockers, um, so if they full swing, we double block the Flash Corridor, we chump the Yahini, uh, and then we can chump the other two as well, we can keep the Gix around if we want to. Just to keep our life total comfortable.
opponent uh, is I don't, I don't think they're enjoying themselves as much to be fair they have seen like one removal spell or two I guess they wasted uh, I say wasted the addict it's not like you can really get a better target against uh, the Shadowborn Apostle deck like I think that was as good as it was gonna get okay are we oh just a pass that's actually really good wow nice draw good combat swing for seven I might draw more cards and just flood the board I have so much mana with the Nictos But obviously I need to deal damage first and draw a card from Gix and then draw another 7. Anytime now, I think upon a thing upon is it's tapped out like he's they, they are like we don't I don't want to deal with you anymore and I think honestly fair enough fair I cannot blame you uh, this has been a bit of a ridiculous game take action I'm gonna draw another seven cards if that's okay with you do I need to no do I want to yes um share board apostle share board apostle share board apostle Hi. Can we use those two instead? Um, devour flesh. This guy will pay the full cost. That doesn't matter. I could kill a creature. Or I could get a demon. Let's get a demon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whee! Yes, your creature's huge, I don't care. Resolve all. Tuk, 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 tuk. Let's get physical, physical, dreadfest demon. Um, and then, sure, I mean, since we're here anyway, discard a card. Do you know what? Since they're not paying attention. Hehe. <laughs> Uh, end step, second apostle, make another dreadfast demon, and the turn. So yeah, yep, yep, we did it. We, that actually was a pretty cool game. I mean, we got lucky they didn't have much removal to go around, but I think it was still a pretty cool game. I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but I, I personally uh, enjoyed myself. But yeah, this is the deck. It's obviously gonna be down in the description as always. Um, Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and if there's any particular command that you want to see next, do let me know. I do have a couple of decks in the gutter. So I have a Mono Green Historic, Mono Green Stompy deck for Historic, and a Blue Red Pirates for Standard, best of one, both of them. Those are probably coming shortly, hopefully this week. Maybe even this weekend if I have the time, and I get the wild cards, because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I need five, and I only have two. How many do I need for this one? Yeah, this one is not coming. Maybe this one if I get enough for wild cards. But anyways... Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time. Take care.